G O B. Welcome to another GOV Quest Dog video. I'm your host, Sons and Guns. We are out here at the Raven, Snowshoe, West Virginia. Part two of this golf vlog, holes 10 through 18. Uh, if you haven't already, go check out part one. It's like uh, a beautiful day. Let's see if we can uh, put this first one in play on number 10. Start out right. Hole 10, par four. Let's see if we can put one in play. So we're gonna make another run at commentary here. Uh, starting out here on 10, par four, left to right. Let's step out to the fairway and uh, see here on my second shot. Play. I just have about 100 yards in the green. Move it out here to the left. Just looking for those greens in regulation so we can uh, try to sneak two putts in and we can get away with the birdie, which I just barely missed. Just have a little tap in par. Start out on a good spot on the first hole. Hole 11, par 4, right to left. See if we can put one in play. So this whole dog legs right to left and uh, I just sort of scald my tee shot here, barely making over this dry creek bed. Uh, kept it in play, it's important. Uh, just uh, targeting a layup here because I know there's a creek up in front of the green. Um, just leaving myself a hundred yard shot here and I'm just trying to get it to the center of the green, which I'm able to accomplish with somewhat success and uh, just leave myself uh, a good ranged putt uh, to try to get up and down here. Always targeting those pars since I'm just an amateur golfer and I just leave it out there. So unfortunately, uh, you'll see here that I just missed this putt just a little bit and that just opens up my first three putt on the backside here. So on number 12, uh, part three downhill here. Rather short, uh, late to the left, rough to the right, bunkers on the back side. Just wanted to club down one and just get it to the front of the green. I was a little bit disappointed that I wasn't aggressive. Of course, I left myself short, chipped out to the left, which was again a mistake per se, and then left myself an uphill putt here, but ultimately just left it short and left. And get a little bit of a slap shot here. And Knock it in for another bogey, which again is okay for an amateur golfer. Well, 13, par 5. Definitely a good three shot hole. There's a split fairway and a big lake down there on the other side of the trees. Let's see if we can start one out and play. So I uh, took my uh, aggressive line. I'm just trying to play my cut here left to right. And fortunately, I just got into the top of the tree line here and it just, you'll see, it just got knocked down and then I. Had to play the safe five iron shot back out to the fairway to the right since I was completely blocked out on the left. Just not worth the risk. Just trying to play for the next shot. Here's the split fairway, lake left, green back to the left, open fairway to the right. Just trying to play that safe shot. Trying to get myself, stay, keep myself out of trouble here. Left myself uh, with 80 yards after that uh, seven wood. Wanted to be aggressive. Tack that pin as you should at this stage. Uh, just try to get it on there. Give yourself at least a look at par, which I did. Uh, just uh, memory serves, I just left this out a little bit right. And that's okay. Bogey after being in the tree line. Not gonna complain. Hole 14, par three. Let's see if we can put one on. So this is where my being an amateur videographer fails me. Probably hit one of my best long wood shots. Hit a seven wood to the middle of the green. Leaving myself probably about a 20 footer up the hill for a birdie look. Just left it short. Just can't do that with birdie putts, leave them short. But regardless of that, uh, having conversations with my playing partners here, a father son duo, but I just uh, tapped one in for par. Very happy with that hole. Moving on. Hole 15, par four. So these next three holes should be about aggressive lines and this is no different. Uh, big drive here. Again, just trying to play my normal cut left to right. Ended up in a good position. Uh, 
actually myself uh, with mid iron in. I think I'd uh, just try to play a right to left shot here and just left it out right and it sort of bounced back down into a, a sand bunker here. One of the only bunkers I was in the entire day, but just splashed a, my next shot out here, just trying to get up and down for a par. And of course, no sandy today. Uh, just a little bit of a slap in there from my bogey cleanup. Hole 16, par four. Let's see if we can put one out there. So uh, here we are on the second of the three hole stretch where I'm just trying to hold aggressive lines. Try to play my normal cut. Unfortunately, I just sort of block one a little bit more straight than I'm used to and end up out in the rough. Uh, probably should have compensated that and hit a rescue club. And unfortunately, I just left my blade open, grass grabbed it, and pushed it out to the right. Mistakes continue to compound when I should have clubbed down one right here. Again, aggressive line up the hill, club down one, hit it fat, left myself short. Just compounding errors. Probably should have took a little bit closer look at this green, knowing that it broke right to left. I put it left. Again, compounding the mistake. And just tried to lag a putt in there to get below the hole. And again, left myself above the hole. That just leaves me with a double bogey and amateur style. That's just another mistake. 17, par 5. So uh, to finish off this three-hole stretch of aggressive strokes, I put the driver in the bag and pulled a five wood here, knowing that I had to be short of a crevice that sort of runs across to the middle of the fairway here that could eat up your ball and accomplish that goal. And, uh, aggressively attacked uh, a seven wood here to the middle again. Uh, a plan's coming together where I'm just hitting quality shots. Probably could have clubbed down one here. It's not really uphill, but it's getting late in the day. Getting a little tired, and unfortunately, I just left this a little bit short. Uh, you see here, I almost chipped this one in. Oh, and uh, just leave myself an uphill putt here. So after a Tough hole stretch here. I finish it off with a par. It's a good thing. Hole 18, par four. Let's see if we can put a good one out there. As I conclude my day here on 18, I just don't want to leave that big stick in the bag. I'm going to be aggressive. Get a long three hour drive home, so I just want to go attack. And that's what happens. Probably my best drive on the back nine. A little bit bounce to the right. Videographer returns and I turn my camera around the wrong way, so I just record my approach shot here, which I left a little bit right. And then you'll see I undercut my chip here, just cut under a little bit. It's to be expected, but let myself uh, put out to the right and then a little slap back in for a bogey to finish. So that finishes up another 18 hole course vlog. Part two here at uh, the Raven Golf Club in Snowshoe, West Virginia. Play some good golf, play some bad golf. But all in all, it's been a great day here in West Virginia. If you enjoyed this content, give it a like. If you want to see more golf content, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Do you want to know?